This is Agent 001 from Autospies.com here in Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada at the Red Rock Casino with one of the most sinful pleasures for 2010, the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. You know, we were in the presentation today and they were talking about how they think this could be the spiritual successor to a competitor's vehicle, the Nissan 240SX. And you know what? I thought about that for a second and I gotta disagree. After driving this car and seeing how beautiful it is and how affordable it's gonna be in the four-cylinder version, attainable by the masses, I would have to say if they were gonna pick any Nissan model, I would say this is the spiritual successor to the 240Z, a car that I loved when I was in high school. You're gonna love the way this car drives. The value for the dollar is amazing. We're gonna go through interior and out, talk about it here on the video, but you can just tell, this is, I did this walk around, the aggression, the nice lines on this car, and of course, I've got it in super sexy Interlagos yellow. They got a great color palette on this car. They've got lime rock green, beautiful blue colors. I mean, really a lot of testosterone on this car, and I really like that. I find that a lot of the cars that do really well have that, you know, real masculine, in-your-face, edgy look. So we're looking at the 2010 Hyundai Genesis Coupe. You're watching Autospies.com. Stay tuned. There's lots more. And check out our photo galleries of the 2010 Coupe. We showed you the yellow, Interlagos yellow. Let's take a look at this hot red car. That nice pool here at the Red Rocks Casino. Unfortunately, it's a little chilly, so it's not uh, filled with beachgoers. On the inside of this new 2010 Hyundai Genesis, You've got a really nice, clean, easy to understand package here. Great gauges, nice steering wheel, good on the hands. Uh, nice, clear center stack, easy to use, and a nice display window that gives you different messages for your iPod. And speaking of iPod, it's got a great uh, connection. One of the things I like about this connection uh, is that it reconciles the iPod very quickly. A lot of the cars, you plug your iPod and it takes about 15 seconds before it actually reconciles and starts playing. I mean, this thing reacts almost instantaneously. Very comfortable seats, as you can see, the headrests are adjustable. It's got a nice looking racing seat, but it also feels good. I mean, it's one thing to look good, but it also feels good. Uh, nice quality materials too. Look at the headliner quality in this car for $22,000. Now this one is a loaded track one for about 31, but still, I mean, it's still a very, very compelling package for the money. Two things I really like about this new coupe is the steering is just so precise, really feels good. If you're used to driving a BMW or one of the higher end cars, it reminds you a lot of the old M3 feel in the steering and the sound system, this Infinity sound system is absolutely out of sight. It's one of the best systems I've heard in a long time in a car at this price. Uh, what I don't like about the car, if I were to change a couple things, one is you can't telescope the wheel and the other thing that you can't can't do on this car is if you look at the paddle shifters on some of the Audis, Mercedes, and BMW, if you hit the minus, it automatically goes into the sport mode and will downshift. Here in the coupe, you have to select on the gear shift lever that you're in the sport mode before the paddles will enact. So just, you know, a couple minor things, but all in all, for the money, this car is an absolute grand slam home run for Hyundai. So as we're driving along here in the Las Vegas desert in the new 2010 Genesis Coupe, you know, I'm pretty impressed here with the 3.8. Look, we're right at 70 miles an hour, hit on cruise control, and we're tracking along at a really decent 28 miles per gallon, which is really nice. Obviously, the aerodynamics help on this car to give it uh, a good gas mileage number, but in today's day and age, for a nice 300 horsepower engine to be getting that kind of mileage on the highway, you know, driving it reasonably is really a respectable number. Another thing we like about this new car. So this is Agent 001 here at the Hyundai Genesis Coupe launch 2010. We're over here at this really wicked cool racetrack. What's the name of this racetrack, Conrad? I believe it's Spring Mountain. Spring Mountain. And we're here in the new 2010 Genesis Coupe, which is really an awesome car. I'm really impressed with just the short drive we've had this morning, but this is gonna be fun for all the auto spies. Reader. You see those cones out there? 
Conrad is a drifting specialist here for the group. And tell us, Conrad, what we're going to do today here in the new Genesis Coupe. What we're going to do out here is we're going to go out onto the skid pad. We're going to get the car to, to drift using the gas pedal. Uh, it's a very well-balanced car, and we can actually uh, drift the thing basically until it runs out of gas. Uh, I'm going to show you how it's done and then give the controls to you, and you can show us how it's done. So obviously, this is not your first time drifting. I'm sure you've driven many other cars uh, drifting. How does this compare to the other stuff you've driven, and maybe mention a couple of the other cars that you're used to driving in and drifting? Well, you know, in, in drifting, obviously, the cars are purpose-built. Um, you know, as far as a stock automobile goes, this is about as good as they get. I, I actually own a, an E46 M3. Um, and this car drifts just as good as that um, and for God probably half the price um, And the horsepower is right there. It's got a ton of steering angle which you really need for drifting um, And it's got plenty of torque which, which you also really need for drifting now You realize that about you know three-quarters of my audience that drives BMWs has just lost all of their manhood when you've said that this drifts as good as the last generation M3 which you own so to, you know, give them some hope here. Their BMWs aren't obsolete here. They're still good. It's just that you find that this car is really, you know, world class when it comes to giving the ability to drift. You know, it it, it really is. I mean, this this car is great torque. Uh, the the one thing about the BMW maybe it has a slightly larger uh, torque range, torque band. Um, but but this thing's got just as much torque, just as much grip. Um, a, a little more body roll and it's a little more comfortable on the street um, but as far as drifting goes it, it really is just as good and so we're in the 3.8 version right now to do this demonstration this, this is the 3.8 version um, can you drift in the 2.0 four-cylinder you know I actually haven't given it a try it, but to be honest I, I drove the 2.0 on the autocross and it's got just as much torque uh, down low as the 3.8 does but 3.8 has a little more horsepower on the top end cool well let's stop talking and start drifting let's go fun. little drifting 1.01 here at the Hyundai Genesis launch. This is Agent 001 from Autospies.com with my buddy Conrad here, the master drifter. Remember, spy before you buy.